All right, Shalom, Shalom. <clears throat> Before I get started, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rechachadash, Barakata Yahweh, Barakata Yahweh Shah, Bahashim, Rechachadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone of Ruel, who taught me this truth, enough respect and salutations to the fellow Akim, the house of David, the hopefully elect. This is your brother Yahweh Sop from the Birmingham branch coming to you once again with another lesson. This lesson is titled, this lesson is entitled, The Purchase Possessions, okay, which are the elect of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And we're hoping, all right, and, you know, through the Spirit, doing the works of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, that we be counted worthy in that day. But on top of that, it was a certain act that had to be played out, all right, that had to be uh, prophesied of and be fulfilled, which is the Lord laying down his life, okay? And he laid down his life for his elect, all right? The ones that sing the same song and speak according to this gospel. All right, the fellow servants, the brothers of Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. That's who he laid his life down for, the first fruits. You see that? So in, in, with that, there comes a certain song, a certain tone, all right, a certain uh, prophecy. Okay, let's start off in the book of St. John, chapter 15 and 13. And it reads, greater love hath no man than this. And these are words in red, which Yahweh Shah spoke. Okay? Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. And this is an ultimate love, all right, through the spirit and powers of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, knowing that when he did lay down his life, the old seals was broken for us to get the, the, the revelation for us to get the prophetic, uh, the fullness of the scriptures. Okay? And that's a good shepherd, man, that does that. And what does shepherd do? What, what, is his, what, are, what is the job of the shepherd? All right? To oversee the flock, to oversee the sheep, to take care of the sheep, to love the sheep. You see? Let's, get, let's go to St. John 10. In verse 11, it reads, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. And the Lord comes within the volume of the book. We know that. We understand that. We believe in that. All right. And without him giving his life, we wouldn't have that. And again, that also comes with the responsibility of speaking according to the gospel and according to the testimony. If you are off in any other form of fashion, all right, your whole doctrine is off. Your whole movement is off. And you have not been set up by Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's read this again. I am the good shepherd. The, the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. And again, with, with the shedding of his blood, which is powerful, all right, then what you believe there comes a certain responsibility, man. All right? When you're claiming, okay, to be the heralds or the servants or the prophets of Yahweh Hashem Let's get uh, Revelation real quick. Chapter 5. See? The book of with seven seals. And you can read up. I'm going to jump to the point. I want in verse 9 it says, And they sung a new song. We're not singing the same old song. All right, that was once being sung. We are not singing the song of false doctrines and uh, uh, false philosophies. Okay? Saying, thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and has redeemed us to the Most High by the blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, which... They're going to be allotted out to the 12,000 men from each tribe, okay, 
those who the 144 men of Yahweh Yahweh Shah are. On top of that, the one third of Israel, all right, which I should say including, all right, we're the ones, Lord willing, that we're going to be redeemed, all right, bought back. All right, and he, he, and he did that by the proof of purchase of his blood, man. You see that? And what, what, what was this all for? To give light. Okay? To give light to the ones that were sitting in darkness. Okay? It says what? Let's read this again. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us to the Most High by the blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation. And if you're not occluded in that, you know, from the beginning, all right, you're not a part of this. Let's get that word redeemed, which is strong G59. See that? Purchase. Okay, by redeem. And that goes to the no notion of saying in the book of Deuteronomy 28 and 68, no man shall buy you. And that no man was true. But the only man that could release us from those curses that was put up on us in Deuteronomy 28 was Yahweh Shah, is Yahweh Shah, and always will be Yahweh Shah. So if you're not singing that new song, if you're not doing the things according to this gospel, then you're off. It's not a light thing to do wickedly. All right. Concern the gospel of the Lord, man. Concern the flock. Concern the sheep. All right. You're making them go astray. We have a responsibility and we have an unction from the Holy One, as the scriptures say, that ye know all things. Let's get this book. Of Acts 20 and 28. All right. And it reads, take heed, therefore, unto yourselves. So the scripture is telling you, you need to take heed. This is a commandment. All right. And to all the flock, which is Yahweh Shai's flock. All right. You know, this is the, the, the shepherd, the good shepherd's flock. Okay. And if we're not speaking according to the law and the testimony, we will lead that flock astray. If you're not telling uh, the world and warning the world about that sword, you're not warning the world about that karakma, all right, that means there is no light in you. Acts 20 and 28, take heed there, therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock, over the which the Holy Spirit hath made you overseers. There's only a few men out there that are singing that song, okay? That new song, all right? There's only a few, man, of the ones that's speaking the same thing, starting with the apostles and the elders of the great millstone on down, all right? It says, to what? Feed the church of the Most High, which he hath purchased with his own blood. And we're his purchased possessions, and therefore we're going to be doing the things, all right, that uh, 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 one is owed to do, all right? We owe, <laughs> you know, the Lord, man, all right? If you're taking up your, 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 your cross, if you're grabbing that plow and you put your hands to it, you owe the Lord, man. The Lord told us what? To make our bodies a living sacrifice, man, Okay? Because if you're about, then you're what? You are a possession. You people have to take this thing serious, man. And you have a lot of people out there is, is very laughable. All right. But in the same sense, it's a very scary thing, man. To see men, all right, going off because they don't know. All right. And how could you know if no one teaches you? How can you know if, if, if you're not willing to learn? If you're not willing to hold yourself accountable, hey amen, that means the Lord ain't choose you, man. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 6. We're going to jump down to verse 20. It says what? For ye are bought with a price. <laughs> Therefore, glorify the Most High in your body 
and in your spirit, which are God's. In your body and in your spirit. It's just not a, a carnal thing, man. Again, it's not a light thing to do wickedly against the, God, uh, the laws of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. And if you're, if you're proclaiming and self-proclaiming to be a prophet or a servant of the Lord, you ought to be doing the things that pleases the Lord, man. Not leading, out, not leading his flock or his sheep astray. All right? Which it, 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 it should piss you off. It should irks you, man. All right? It should, get your, it, it should get on your nerve to know that men don't even know what the fuck they're talking about. They're just getting out and saying anything, man. All right, it's one thing when you slip. All right, when you fall, Scripture tells you about a just man follow seven times. But you, there, there also a naiveness to, you know, them doing the things they do, man. Again, First Corinthians six and twenty four. Ye are bought with a price. And what was that price? That ultimate sacrifice, which is the blood of the Lord, man. The blood of Yahweh Shai, man. No greater love. You see. Therefore, <laughs> this is a commandment, glorify the Most High in your body. And how you glorify? Making your body a living sacrifice. All right? Praying day in and day out. Meditating on the scriptures. Reading, studying. Listening to videos. Be occupied. This is the best occupation in the world. It says, and in your spirit, which are God's. There's no way around it, man. You know? No way around it. So let's end this off in the book of Ephesians, chapter 1, and verse 13. And it reads, In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of the truth, the gospel of your salvation. See, when you heard this, it's, certain, it's a certain jook in your bones you, you, you got to know like, oh, shit, this is, you know, this, I, I need to know more. I need to know more. I need more, I need more. This is how it is, man. When you hear the truth, man, when you hear the good news, right? This is what we trust. It says, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. And this is according to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh promise. All right, being those first fruits, all right, that we're going to return to that state. All right, we're gonna to turn to that to the, to those godlike beings, man. Being our bodies are gonna be changed, man. When your shall returns, man, it's gonna be a beautiful sight to see if we're a part of that precious number. Let's continue. Is the point, which is the earnest of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession, until the praise of His glory. We're going to get this word earnest, more edification. Okay, Strong G728. And earnest, <laughs> money which is purchased is given as a pledge or down payment that the full amount will subsequently be, subsequently be paid. The Lord is coming back for his men. The Lord has purchased his men. Out of all the sea, ways of the sea, he, he has a possession. And out of all the people in the world, he has a possession. As the scripture tells us, man. Who do you think that is? That is the elect, the purchased possession that he laid down his life for his friends. Scripture tells you we no more call you servants, but what? I call you friends because a servant knoweth not what his master do. You see that? Ernest, we read Ernest, redemption, purchase, possession. Let's get that. All right, Strong's G4047, preserving or preservation. All right, we've been preserved. All right, possession, one's own property and obtaining. Let's get to the Strong's. This is the point. Saving. The ones that he purchased with his blood, he's going to save them. He's going to deliver them. All right, for the, for the said perils and from the enemies, man. And they're going to speak according to the gospel and the testimony of Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. This is how you can tell the difference. When you do the things that pleases the Lord, all right, knowing that when you're about, when you know that information, that knowledge, when you're about, 
with the price, the price of blood. Yeah, like that's a certain fear that comes with that. And of course, there's a certain responsibility that you, you should hold dear to your heart and obtain. Continue to prophesy. We almost out of here. Lord willing, this was edifying and comforting. On to the next one. Shalom.